My name is Meg and I'm an educator here at the Old North Church and Historic Site. I'm here today to tell you more about the history of these beautiful brass chandeliers and their connection to the Christmas season. For the first year of the church's existence, Old North did not have a light source that we know of. Congregants likely relied on sunlight or individual candles to read their prayer books and hymnals. That all changed, however, in December of 1724. Captain William Maxwell donated a pair of brass chandeliers from England. Captain Maxwell was one of Old North's wealthier congregants. He owned Pew 29, one of the most prestigious pews aside from the governor's. Captain Maxwell made his fortune as a merchant, acquiring antiques from all around the globe, which is how he was able to acquire the chandeliers from England. The chandeliers were first lit on Christmas Day in 1724. Now, believe it or not, that simple action was considered quite controversial by many Bostonians at this time. While Old North was an Anglican church, many Massachusetts residents were Puritans, and the Puritans were no fans of Christmas. Christmas was a widely celebrated holiday in Europe, but the Puritans here viewed it as a false holiday with more connections to paganism than Christianity. As they pointed out, there were a lot more connections to the Roman festival of Saturnalia with traditions like feasting and gift giving. Puritans actually viewed Christmas as such an abomination that in 1659, the Massachusetts General Court enacted a law banning the holiday. Anyone caught celebrating on Christmas Day would be fined up to five shillings for the grave offense. The law was retracted in 1681 by Governor Edmund Andros, who was appointed from England, but many Puritans still viewed the holiday as an abomination. So when Old North lit their chandeliers on Christmas Day, many of the Puritans were shocked that their neighbors were celebrating such an unsavory holiday with such ornate decorations. Despite that initial controversy though, the chandeliers still remain and still play an important part in the Christmas season. In fact, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, congregants of the Episcopal Church have their annual polishing party where the chandeliers are taken down and shined up so they are at their shiniest for the holiday seasons. The chandeliers are lit not just at Christmas time, but also Easter, weddings, and any evening celebrations that happen here at the church. This is still the only light source on the ground floor. There is no electrical light. So when these celebrations happen, Old North looks quite like it would have in the colonial era. We thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from all of us here at the Old North Church.